are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Guys, I've said it before when it comes to alphabet stuff, you will not see black NBA players actually going out there and advocating for anything to do with the alphabet movement. Now, we actually do see that in the WNBA. And I believe I've also said this before. Also, when it comes to any type of um, LGBT social agenda, black people overall are not down with that. And it's kind of funny, you know, that I'm actually making this video because um, I was just listening to uh, Pat Bet David on a uh, value tainment video he just put up and he was actually talking about black Democrats. Now we, we know guys that for the most part, a lot of the black players in the NBA are going to go out there and vote for Democrats. However, the values of the LGBT thing doesn't align with black people. I'm just keeping it real because in Pat Bet David's um, video, he was actually talking about how, I guess you can say, quote unquote, intolerant black people are, black Democrats are about the whole LGBT thing. On a Gallup poll, only like 30 percent of black people were down with the whole LGBT or trans thing. But if you flip it around to white Democrats, it was like 65 percent. So. Black Democrats seem to be aligning a lot more with people on the right when it comes to that. And I know this, guys, I completely agree with that because I'm black. I grew up in a black neighborhood. My grandmother was um, a Baptist, very religious, and she spoke out against that stuff. My grandfather, he was a, a Catholic. They went down with that stuff. And honestly, I don't think my mom is either. That is how black people truly do feel. So that actually brings us to uh, Gilbert Arenas here. Gilbert Arenas used to play in the NBA and boy, he just came out and unloaded on the alphabets because we see now that a lot of people get canceled if you say anything about the alphabets. You know, they have free reign to actually go out and do whatever they want to do, it seems. But if you say something about the alphabets. Boy, they go after you. I mean, misgendering, for example. I mean, how many people even know that there's the, these new pronouns that the alphabet mafia has hijacked? I mean, who actually goes around calling themselves they or them? I don't know anybody. And I truly do believe, man, if you set. LeBron James down. He'd be like, I'm not down with this stuff. But let's go ahead and get into this, guys. Over here on our kick. Gilbert Arena sounds off on the LGBT community. Most unfair group walking the planet. And he was actually on with uh, Vlad TV. And we're going to go ahead and listen in to what uh, Gilbert Arenas actually did have to say here. And um, I'm going to take this off screen so you guys can only hear the um, the audio so we don't actually get uh, copyrighted. So let's go ahead and play it. Yeah. Right. It's like like I'm having like even with um, the LGBT. Right. Mm -hmm. I think it's the most unfair group walking the planet right now. How so? You, they have a playbook. That only they are playing by that they can only see no one else gets to see this playbook. But we're being judged by everything that's in this playbook, but we don't know it. So it's like there's no open dialogue, right? There's no open dialogue about what is appropriate, what's not. We only find out after we fuck up. That's unfair, <laughs> right? That's fucking unfair. You can't do that. You can't, you can't. I, how do I know something's wrong until you, you give, give it me, to give me? Give me an example of what you're talking about. Um, just words, phrases like he, she, it, they, wait. We don't fucking, okay. how do we know you're, you're, yeah. So like, for example, guys, if you address a person that is a biological male, you call him a he and then all of a sudden they get triggered. This person didn't address me by these certain pronouns here. They, I'm a they. Nobody. Overall, guys, I don't believe many people actually know about the whole they them thing. I don't. 
But this is what he's actually talking about right here. Making it up as you go. And we don't, it's not like, that's what I said. It's not like there's this fucking dictionary of updates and we can sit there and click it and say, all right, oh, I can't say, oh, I can't. They, they took this out, right? They, they added this in. We, we're just learning. Oh, yeah. Right? And that's un, that's really unfair that you can cancel somebody on a playbook that only you have. Yeah. Right? Like, like having an argument with someone from the LGB. So it's fucking suicide. Right? Here's why. They have the whole dictionary to use against you, right? They can say whatever the fuck they want. They can, they can technically make a straight man gay by saying, hey, yo, you look like you look like a gay guy. You look like this and call you all kind of gay words, which is technically inf offensive, right? Mm -hmm. To a straight man. Soon as I say something back that's gay, I'm fucking canceled now. Like, how does that fucking work? Well, I mean, look. <laughs> yeah. I mean, See, but, even us talking about it makes no, no, it feel I mean, uncomfortable listen. because we know there's going to fucking be backlash, but it's truth. You can use whatever vocabulary against me. I get to go back. Now it becomes, you get to use the, oh, oh LGB, can't well, do that. Well, but that's, but that's sort of the standard of society in terms of where everyone stands in their roles. So for example, right, you ever uh, watch the show uh, Black AF? On Netflix? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about. Uh -huh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You watch the show, right? Yeah. Remember the first, the opening scene where, um, what's the name of the guy who, who stars in the show? Um, um, Kenya. Kenya Barris. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so Kenya Barris is like waiting outside to go pick up his car. And like this white guy uh -huh. like says something to him and, and whatever kind of gets on his wrong side. He gets in his car. He's like, I fucking hate white people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Switch that around. Switch that around. Oh, have, have a white guy be in that role, and a black guy comes and annoys him. He gets in his car and goes, I fucking hate black people. Racist. Yo, that'll be. Yeah, so I'm going to stop it right there, guys. I mean, Gilbert Arenas is right, man. The Alphabet Mafia, they have definitely hijacked the dictionary. You know, you can actually call one of them like a he or she. For example, they get offended by it and then they want to call you like um, cisgender, which I think is offensive. You know, Th this whole term terminology like um, assigned male at birth, I think is dumb because I believe you are assigned your sets at conception. That's just the way it is. And he's right about the whole alphabet agenda, man. People getting canceled left and right. I mean, it's kind of wild, guys. It really, really is wild. And I truly do believe this is the way the majority of the NBA players actually do feel. None of them actually speak out in support of alphabet stuff. They just don't. I can't think of one to tell you the truth. WNBA players do it. It's usually a bunch of female athletes because the female athletes are the ones that are actually pushing to have biological men in women's sports. Whereas like male athletes, they're not pushing for that. They're not. This is a, I guess you can say pretty much a feminist movement because the woke feminists are actually pushing that stuff. And we, guys, we know that the NBA is full of a bunch of woke players, but when it comes to the alphabet stuff, they're not down with this stuff. I'm just being real. But um, that is what Gilbert Arenas actually had to say about this whole thing. So that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.